In this video, we're going to look at differentiating the sec theta function. Now we've seen in the previous video that if we have this length 1, then this height here will be tan theta, and this length here will be sec theta. And we've seen that we could generate the differentiation over tan theta by allowing this angle delta theta to tend towards 0. Whenever this tended towards 0, then this little white triangle here tended towards a similar triangle here in blue. And this happened because the length of the segment here tended towards the tangent at this point. Now when that happened, we got this similar triangle and we've seen that the differentiation over tan theta is going to be that given by this little addition here, which is sec squared theta. Now we can use the same argument to differentiate the sec theta. So this length here is sec theta, and whenever we add on this little angle delta theta, which tends towards zero, then we're adding on this little length here. And this little length here, by our similar triangles, is given by our sec theta tan theta. So whenever we differentiate sec theta, we get this length here, sec theta tan theta. So finally, we can write down the differentiation of our sec theta, and it's given by d by d theta sec theta is equal to sec theta tan theta. So that's all for this video. Thank you for listening. I'll get you on the next video. Goodbye.